people have different, kind of fall into different categories and have different opinions of how much private, how, how private they want things to be, as well as different data has different risks. So it's almost like, I don't mind, I have an open Instagram account if you'd like to follow me. I don't mind that I share my Instagram photos because I you know, know that that's out in the open and that I want more likes. So I have that opinion, but then I have certain friends that you know, only want a very small select group of people. And so I think that's also a challenge that companies face in making these decisions of what does the consumer really want? Um, and also kind of the t different types of data that you're handling. You know, I don't want my data when I'm at the doctor's office, I want to make sure that's private, but on my Fitbit, I like to run and challenge my friends, and the only way to do that and to show that I'm running more than them is if they can see my data. So I think that's a, a big uh, challenge that companies face when they're looking at how to tackle th these questions um, internally. And I found some kind of survey stats that were in I thought were interesting that kind of addressed this too. Um, I guess one telecommunications company started offering a $30 opt-out service and had very few people sign up for it. Um, there was a survey on how much people were willing to pay for Google to stop scanning their emails, and the max amount was $15. And then another survey found that uh, consumers were willing to pay um, only $4 to avoid any re real-time geolocation tracking. So I think there is kind of a, a trade-off here that consumers recognize. And I think finding, for a company to find that balance um, is, is often sometimes what the challenge is, and I think that's on the privacy front, front and sometimes the security front.